Having the tool in your toolbox of understanding how to tie a square lash is important. A square lash is when you take two sticks in this fashion and lash them together. This can be used in a host of different applications from building ladders to frames of shelters to actual frames and racks. There's just a whole plethora of different things that we can use this for. So it's important to understand how to use it and when to use it and how to tie it. Let's take a look at it right now. To start this off, I'm going to use a timber hitch. Um, I'm using a little bit larger diameter rope and I'm not gonna pull this super tight because I really want everyone out there to see exactly how this is tied rather than have this real small and not be too visible on camera. So we're just using a little bit larger diameter rope. What we actually wanna do is once we have our timber hitch in place on either one of the two sticks that we're tying together, we're gonna start by going underneath and then over. So it's just a pattern of flipping this under, over, pull all your end through, and then pull it tight, keeping this well dressed, and then over, under, over, under. Now, what you wanna remember when you tie this square lash is that you don't want to have these insides pulled in initially Okay, real tight to each other. I like to keep them straight up and down, meaning that if I look straight down at this lash, that my lines are going straight down then underneath, okay? So we're gonna make three passes this way, under, over, under, over. Once we come around the last time, we're finished our lash, now we're gonna put our frap. And remember, our lashings are what go on the sticks, our frapping is what pulls the line together. So our frapping is just going to go around the line this way. So again, for every three, two frappings is usually more than enough. I'm gonna pull this a little bit tight so you can see everything start to bind up. Just keep everything well dressed when you do this. Just go around this way, pull it, and you can see how that's binding in. And what's happening then is it's tightening up our lashing itself. It's pulling our lashing in tight. So we finish it then with a simple clove hitch and then we are all done. And that's our square lash. Just remember, this was a demonstration purpose um, project. So when you actually do this, you wanna pull all of that string or rope or twine that you're using super tight. You wanna make this lash as tight as possible. And when you make those frappings go around, pull them super tight because that's what's binding those lashings together at the end. So you can always vary more lashings and more frappings. You just have to play around with it and see what works best for your application. So this was Dan Wolwak with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Give it a shot, learn it, put it in your toolbox when you need it, it's there.